The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. We have Mike from Chicago on the line, and he has a question about digestion. Hi, Mike. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. First of all, I just wanted to say that I love the show. I think it's uh, it's great programming, and I'm very much of a like mind when it comes to you know taking control of your own health and certainly doing your own research. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I'm Nico. This is Paige, and we're here to talk about your health, fitness, and diet. Hi, Paige. Hey there, Nico. I'm so proud of you. I'll show us some picture. pictures of okay, our, I'll show you a couple of pictures our proud here. leader here. See. There I am on uh, the podium getting nice. uh, my Vuitton second medal. Actually. International yeah. Open Jiu-Jitsu Championship. See if, uh, you can show that. Are you showing that? Uh, yeah, there it is right there. And then those are my two medals that I got. And then an interesting thing, it moved me into fourth place on the world ranking Whoa. in my age division from 56 and up. That's so, fantastic. So that's kind of cool. So I, I, I must confess that I, uh, it was pretty easy for me because when I got there, there was nobody to fight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so I we went through the, yeah, you go through the whole thing. They weigh you and everything. And then they say, well, there's nobody here to fight you. You go get your medal. But then, that's, a, that's a feat in itself. Well, yeah. It's all about going. And I, I'm glad I got it because of the world ranking. I mean, how many people it, your age can get around many, and roll around on the many. ground doing jujitsu? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it was a fun time. And uh, we had five of us that went. And uh, uh, we had uh, a couple of guys get uh, silver medals. And one of our uh, guys... Uh, Jason, who's a fantastic jiu-jitsu guy, he's a brown belt, uh, or purple belt, I should say, and uh, he got a gold, and uh, really, uh, him and Kevin were the two guys that really showed really, really skills there. You know, fantastic. Getting I, so did I mention really to you nice that my son Austin's uh, going back to your dojo? Yes, you did, mm -hmm. and that was that's wonderful. I'm so glad, because yeah. it's uh, really, I think, essential, uh, especially for the younger guys, yeah. you know, to, to start at uh, that age, uh, even that, I mean, we have kids starting at three years old. It's pretty amazing. That yeah. is amazing. Yeah. Folks, the number here is 877-927-6648. Please pick up my Health Signals newsletter. And I do want to talk about the Health Signals just a little bit. Uh, because, Let's just highlight uh, it because it's just yeah. so important because if you're not getting the newsletter, folks, you are missing out. Uh, uh, you know, we read wonderful, you know, top-notch articles and we put them together and Nico assembles it with all the links so that you yep. can check the research and sources. So a few articles here, one about uh, ketones and how it builds a healthier brain and leaner body. Really important and one of the things I noticed uh, that uh, when I did go down for the jujitsu, this is the second time, I used butter as my main fuel mm -hmm. and so before I went there I had a little bit of breakfast which was just a little bit of salmon maybe about four ounces of salmon, and then about a half of uh, a cube. So that's about maybe four ounces of butter. Right. And so uh, ready, I got there. Yeah, so I got, ready energy. Oh, it's fantastic. And I, I just smoothly went through the whole transition of everything. And then about 7.30, I got out of there at night. So from 9.30 to 7.30, I was there. Didn't eat anything, didn't just drink water. I was fine. A lot of guys uh, you hear complaining about, I'm hungry, I need mm -hmm. to eat. And I was just cruising along. And after that, I uh, went someplace and had a couple of beers and something good to eat. And I felt wonderful. So You know, it was really neat, too. There's, really a, there's a point in here, those of you that get the newsletter, uh, you know, because ketones have been vilified by yeah. a lot of the mainstream health. Yeah. And then, you know, the idea that ketones actually clear out the junk and actually help to utilize some of these bad proteins. So, great yeah. article. Uh, before we go anyplace else, uh, we have Tom on the line from Tampa. So, oh. let's uh, talk to Tom. Hey, Tom, how's it going today? Hey, good, Nico. How you doing? I'm doing hey, great. Tom. Good, Paige. Good to talk to you guys. Hey, uh, I wanted to check uh, with you. What uh, are the uh, benefits of uh, cilantro? Oh, cilantro is a wonderful herb and particularly excellent at chelating heavy minerals, uh, metals heavy metals, which I guess yeah. in a way they are, yeah. and particularly mercury. Yeah, especially um, mercury. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and adding cilantro to, you know, you, you know, cilantro has an unusual taste. I can't say that it's my favorite taste. You can overuse cilantro, but just putting mm -hmm. a, a few leaves in a salad or making salsas and okay. uh, as part of a food healing, um, 
we recommend a small amount of cilantro with strawberries, which are both very effective at chelating uh, mercury from the, the bodies of people that are having an excess, like in a smoothie. But very mm -hmm. light on the cilantro because of the taste. Yeah. Yeah, just maybe, uh, okay, just sprinkle a little bit of on there if you get it uh, in the uh, powder form or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use it as a seasoning for many things in meats. That's what uh, I was getting yeah. at, yeah, okay. And, and, you know, you go buy it fresh and use it, and then before it starts to get too much, throw it in the freezer. That way, if you're doing a smoothie, you can add a few pinches, but just, you know, you're aware of the taste of cilantro. Some people will just love it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great, awesome. Okay, well, you guys do a great job, man. Okay, really, thanks a lot. Enjoy listening to it. Thanks oh, a lot, man. Tom, thanks for calling. We yeah. appreciate you. You know, and another thing about, uh, you know, cilantro, but all the different kinds of spices, uh, all, all these little herbs have really great properties for removing metals and other things, uh, that one particularly for mercury, but there's a whole slew of them. And when you start really learning about these herbs, how beneficial they are, and you don't need a lot of them. Right. You don't and have you to know. make it a staple, use it as a seasoning, and just adding it to it not only gives flavor to foods, but then we it has the great anti- We get these wonderful anti benefits. Yeah, wonderful and just benefits. remember, if you do buy spices prepared, there's two things we want. Naturally, we'd like to get them organic, but even more important, we want them non-irradiated. Yes. And there's so many companies yes. actually irradiate the spices. Yes. Yep. You know, another great thing you put in the newsletter okay. was, uh, you know, we get a lot of calls about people like, where do I find this stuff? And, you know, we're really working on the resources. If you yeah. get the newsletter, you're going to have 20 places to find local food and family farms near you. And this is really cool because uh, when I found this, I said, oh, this is, I have to put it in there. You know, there's a little place called Meetup, which uh, gives you a uh, place where you can go find different kind of hobbies that people have mm -hmm. uh, and everything that's attributed to the hobbies, the clubs, the uh, type of, uh, you might be interested in knitting or whatever it is, but also has a lot to do with food. Right, and a lot of people are actually using the meetup groups as yeah. a way to share their sources yes. and resources. So, like, uh, that's displayed now. There's one called Real Milk Finder. So that mm -hmm. this helps you go there. Local Dirt. Uh, farm match. So and what's really you, nice, if you get the newsletter, you don't you have to remember. You click on it and uh, you go to make site. sure. puts a lot of time into this newsletter. If you subscribe, uh, you're going to be right on target with us with what we're talking about, and it'll be a, even a more, more rich right. experience. Um, I really like the, another article that you had in there about the core benefits of the delight successful kind of reminded me of Frank uh, of Stephen Coey's yes that habits of the seven, seven habits of seven high, habits so, and I took those people. courses with seven Covey and that was really inspirational mm -hmm. and really uh, helped me structure myself especially for business but also ethically mm -hmm. uh, I and this kind of reminded me of that and at the end of this article there's also a a uh, little video. A link that to a gonna, video that's it's amazing. It's called Simple Daily Habits of Delightful Successful People. You know, it's kind of worded, uh, uh, worded to, weirdly, but then there's a nice article about the rise of agriculture, and this can o open your eyes to how agriculture started and why it started. Uh, I think it's important to know that. Very compelling information in that article. I like the fact that you put the reflexology chart in here. Yeah, here there's a chart on reflexology, and the reason I put it in there is because... Uh, Allie and Tom were talking about that on their show mm -hmm. last Wednesday, and I found this picture, and I goes, oh, this is for the newsletter. It really gives you an eye opener. And I'm a big effect. fan of reflexology, and I want you to look at the, the, the wisdom that the creator source created in, 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 in the universe. And look mm -hmm. at this. You, your feet are a map of the whole body as well. The body is mapped out on the hands. I mean... Traditional cultures have known this for years yes. and used the hands and yes. feet. And also, guys, the ear. You know, maybe we'll stick a auricular therapy uh, body map. Um, and you can, and I, um, I really think that reflexology is one of the most powerful uh, health supporting techniques that no we can do. No doubt about it. And I, I, what I use uh, in my personal training and for healing mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. is I use a lacrosse ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can just stand on the ground and put that lacrosse ball under your bare foot, exactly. and then the reflexology takes place there. Also use it on your hands, of course your back, lean against the wall on it or on the floor if you want more. And this hits your trigger points. And I fixed more and more problems with myself, my clients, my friends at uh, Jiu Jitsu. Uh, you know, they have a pain, how do I get rid of it? Well, you can stretch Treat it yourself. or you can use the ball. Yeah. And so a lacrosse ball, it's uh, 4 or $5 for a lacrosse ball. It's 
I also tape two together and use them to roll on my spine. Mm -hmm. And that unlocks everything a lot cheaper than the chiropractor. So, I like all these little yeah. self help yeah. and so tools and techniques. Exactly. And I put those, that kind of stuff in the news. Hey, this too. next picture gluten free grain? Nope. Oatmeal. A lot of people. Um, you know, it is a safer grain, but it does have its own little problems and it still has the, uh, the phytic acid in it, uh, and it, uh, like beans do almost. Uh, it just it can be harmful to your blood sugar. Well, and there's a great tip in there on, you know, and I often, if, uh, you know, I have family members that are just love oatmeal, but I really recommend that it be soaked overnight. Yes. Better yet, soaked in, in whey so that that can be pre-digested. But yep. there's a really secret little tip that I, I didn't know in there. What's that? that? That you really should have oatmeal with buckwheat. Well, I already love buckwheat yes. as a, you know, buckwheat being a seed. Well, um, well buckwheat, buckwheat is, is actually the flour. Uh, it's the, they don't take the seed itself. They, right, right, right. right. So it's not but a what seed. what I mean so is it's not a grain. Yeah, it's not a grain, but it, it has similar things to a grain. But if uh, I think uh, if you're going to eat grains, use buckwheat with it, especially for noodles and things. You know why, though? Why? It's loaded with bioflavonoids. Oh, okay. And bioflavonoids are that special part that most people think of that comes with vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Very healing to arterial inflammation, okay. capillary, skin connectivity. Yeah. So, but there was a secret in there that talked about adding buckwheat to your oat, mm -hmm. to your oats to help with that phytic acid breakdown. That there's okay. something in the so get a newsletter and you'll know how to do that. Because the buckwheat breaks down first, and I think helps to digest the other. Mm -hmm. think, yeah, well, there's actually... Uh, it's kind of like what the prebiotic, they're talking about the uh, pre-starch. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so I did some research on pre-starches and found uh, many uh, old cultures were using a pre-starch. Uh, in fact, uh, if, when you look at uh, the Chinese, they were using the white rice, then cooking it, then storing it, and getting the thing to start uh, decomposing a little bit, and then cooking it again, and boom, you've got some uh, starch that has a prebiotic and probiotic uh, flavors to it. So it'll start helping you digest other things. Okay, let me just give this away. Yeah, okay. You know, and therefore, soaking alone cannot eliminate all the phytic acid in oatmeal. A complementary grain rich in phytase, such as buckwheat, so buckwheat has that natural phytase, which breaks down phytic acid in it, would need to be added to the oats during the soaking process to deactivate the go. phytates. So, so why not go ahead and buy some buckwheat similar, and start having buckwheat and oats Yeah, together? and you know what else does uh, similar things is when you uh, see the Mex Mexican cultures using beans and rice. Right. They're using the white rice, which is already cooked. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're not putting it together until afterwards. So that white rice has the prebiotic helping you break down the phytic acid in the beans. There's always wisdom. There's always when we, wisdom. When we, when we take it to the yeah. next level, we get to learn it. Yeah. Folks, the number here is 877-927-6648. So we're showing you some of the things that are and the reasons why you should be getting the newsletter. Uh, and we're going to continue that right after the break. So please stick around. Give us a call if you like. Uh, Nico and Paige here are to take your calls. We're drinking our Tiger Brew with lots of butter and MCT oil on it. And even Get our uh, healthy fats and all that con con that uh, consolidated nutrition that comes from the right kinds of dairy. Yeah, and I've been using that uh, uh, collagen in it. Really That's our little secret. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. We're right back, folks. You've heard Nico DeHaan as co-host of Living a Primal Lifestyle, which airs every Friday at noon Eastern Time on TFNN, and would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-418. 8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com let him know you heard him on tfnn and save up to 100 dollars on a special package just for tfnn listeners act today Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. 
Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month-long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back. I'm Paige Clark, and I'm here with Nico DeHaan, and we're living a private lifestyle, and we want to help you do that, too. Uh, it looks like we've got uh, Paul from New York on the line. Paul, how are you? Uh, it could be better. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, I was just calling in, unfortunately, I had a artery dissection injury uh, recently, and I was just asking uh, in terms of what would you, if you had a family member suffering from that, what would you recommend in terms of possible heal, complete uh, heal, natural healing from that, or otherwise, uh, what other process uh, to recover from that type of injury? Okay, so you were actually, your arteries were injured during the surgical dissection, or did you, did you have injured arteries, and that's why they were in there? Well, it's, uh, it's an actual injury uh, from high blood pressure, uh, artery uh, type B uh, artery uh, dissection of the upper artery, uh, which uh, some doctors have told me it's uh, under right circumstances. It could be a natural complete healing under the right situations. I just wonder if there's certain, like uh, blood pressure uh, medications or Lipitor's or Ubiquinol or certain other conditions uh, to, to aid that, that, uh, that healing or certain things to avoid like meats or, you know, proteins to add, et cetera. I mean, I'm, I'm getting so much information that's contradictory and everybody seems almost in 180 degrees different direction. Well, first of all, as you know, we don't treat disease, we teach health care. And we like to empower people to, uh, you, you know, develop their own tools and techniques to stay healthy. Um, and I understand that that would be confusing. The first thing that I think about when I hear of arterial inflammation is, have you ever been diagnosed? Has a doctor ever given you a diagnosis of high homeocysteine? Uh, no. Okay. And, and, and they may or may not have checked it, but... One of the things you want to do to protect your arteries is make sure you don't have high homeocysteine. That's what is described as having had sandpaper rub in your arteries. You made the comment about eating meats. Um, the, 
the things that scar the arteries are high homeocysteine, sugars, uh, and, and grains. So you, you would be better off eliminating all grains and processed foods and sugars from your diet, uh, increasing your healthy fats like butter and, and, and properly raised animal and dairy products, properly raised, properly prepared, and increase your um, intake of fat-soluble nutrition such as vitamin E, particularly deltanol, uh, or excuse me, that's a product, <laughs> um, tocotrienols, mm -hmm. which is a fraction of vitamin E, vitamin C in the whole food form. And just as if you were listening to us before the break, Paul, we were talking about bioflavonoids. Right. Uh, bioflavonoids are a, a, a very important part found in citrus fruit, in buckwheat, and incidentally. They really help repair uh, uh, arterial inflammation and help strengthen this. And I would really suggest, you know, including those. You know when you slice an orange and you eat the orange or the grapefruit and there's that white pith? Right. You, you right. know, I would take the, you know, like if you say you took a little quarter of an orange, when you eat it, Slice it, then eat as much of the white as you can. That is loaded uh, with bioflavonoids. You know, my Qigong food healing instructor always taught me if it's white, there's magic there. And it's true if you think about a lot of yep. foods, you know. Yep. Uh, That's part of the fruit as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. In terms of, um, we're, we're going to go over, an, you know, just kind of highlight an article. Get our newsletter. You will be, a lot of the information that you are seeking, you will find in our newsletter. It's $10 an issue. It's one of the most valuable resources. A lot of people. $10 a, a month. Or $10 a month. Excuse me. There you go. It's even better. And uh, we cover this a lot. Um, the, all, you know, the, the research um, is coming out that, you know, statins and blood pressure lowering um, are not the answers. They often cover up. Uh, the real issue and never really resolve the core issue. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, if you're uh, decreasing your cholesterol and you have uh, cholesterol is one of the things that can help fix the, ar the arteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we always think that's the wrong philosophy to, uh, you know, do away with your statins. Uh, you want to make sure that your cholesterol is not oxidizing and becoming damaged. And the way you do that is you make sure you don't eat a lot of refined, processed foods, Especially bad oils. seed oils, yeah. the oils being the primary, not just the breads and sugars, probably the primary culprit are rancid seed oils. So if you walk down aisle 13 at your grocery store and you see the whole thing filled with oils and clear bottles, they're poison. Well, it's yeah. amazing because I'm getting actually uh, almost exactly the opposite advice from what you're just telling me. Yeah. Uh, for example, they're telling me stay away from fish and all meats and dairy products, cheeses and milk. Uh, specifically, like the fish, I was shocked because I'm being told that when your when your body digests uh, fish, it your stomach has to uh, generate a particular chemical to actually digest part of part of your insides. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, it's like I'm, I'm just getting so confused. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's well, just well, say, hang on the line. We've got to go to a break, Paul. I want to I want to talk about that a little more because it is confusing, and and but we can help point you in the direction of some information that may help you realize what's best for you. So hang okay. on. We'll be back. We're going to take a short break. Live in a primal lifestyle. See you in a minute. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. 
Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to the show, folks. This is Nico and Paige here, and we have uh, Paul on the line, and uh, actually we have Tom also after uh, Paul. So, Paul, uh, one of the things that we try to do on the show uh, with Living a Primal Lifestyle is uh, really educate you on the fact that the problems are caused by the inflammation of most of the foods that we're eating and a, a thing called glycation, which is the proteins sticking with sugars. And sugars are in the form of carbohydrates, cereals, you know, whatever we're eating that, that's a carbohydrate that's processed. And the bad processed oils. And the bad processed oils. These all kind of stick together and cause all kinds of problems and scarring. And then what we're trying to promote... Uh, for you to eat is getting back to the healthy fats, doing away with those bad fats, but getting healthy fats like uh, dairy uh, fat, if you can tolerate it. The right or, kind of dairy. The right kind of dairy, uh, grass-fed uh, The butter, right kind of meat. And the right kind of meat. So animals that are eating the right food. And when you start switching your body over to that, what happens is the inflammation starts to slowly go away, and then your body can start repairing itself. Right now, it sounds like your body, and many of us have this problem, is filled with so much inflammation that your body's fighting that inflammation and not getting to the regular maintenance. So if you did that to your car, you know what would happen to your car. So <clears throat> what we're trying to do is educate and really tell you, do your own research. Go and look at what we're looking at, though, and one of the great sources we have is the newsletter, which is only $10 a month. You get two issues, plenty of stuff for you to read. And, and, and many of the resources we use for the newsletter are evidence-based information course, from, yeah. From, yeah. from medical journals. So I think, and if you need further assistance, you can contact Paige at tfnn.com or Nico oh. at tfnn.com, and we can work out a time to work with you personally. 
just one more question. What, yeah. what, is, your, what is your opinion of the uh, video of knives versus forks? Have you heard of that? Do you have an opinion of that, that type of... Yeah, that's, uh, um, you know, just so much like the China study, it's partially true. It's about, you know, eliminating uh, animal products. Yes. Um, you know, when they do these, you never get a study of uh, animals that are eating their right food and people eating those. You always get the study of, well, we're going to give you protein, and many of these things are verbal, so they call up people on the telephone, well, what have you had? Well, I've had 20% of my meal is meat. And I went to this. McDonald's and yeah. had a hamburger. <clears throat> so the, the studies that are coming out now that are being done with, you know, good sources of protein and good sources of fat are all showing the opposite of what you're experiencing, where the doctors tell you, don't eat the fish, don't eat this, don't eat that. But you've got to remember that ancestrally, from an evolutionary standpoint, for thousands and thousands of years, this is how we evolved. And so it just makes sense to at least look at that and convince yourself whether this is the right way or not. And, and the other thing is, is that you're going to understand that, correct, we do not want to eat the meat from animals that are eating grains and raised in a confined animal feeding lot. And that's not going to be healthy for us, and we need to vote every day by you know seeking out farmers that are raising their animals in a humane way having animals eat the grass and the green fed yeah. things that they do so and we, wild animals would even be better if mm -hmm. you know nothing is the same as it was 10 or 20 or 30,000 years ago but we're trying to explore a way we can feed ourselves in a healthy way so we can be healthy human beings and not worry about all this inflammation that's going on absolutely thank you so much okay uh, thanks, thanks for calling. nice talking to you okay so we, we still have Tom on the line here Yes, we do. Okay. Tom, hey, how's Tom. it going? Hi, guys. Uh, glad to, to, to hear you again. And uh, uh, if you ask me how I am, I was prepared to say, well, you guys, uh, I'm still a heavy grain eater, and so I'm probably not doing too good according to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm intrigued by, by your success in the jujitsu contest, but oh, especially you. by what by what you said you ate beforehand. Can you go over that again, and, and, and I want to ask you some details about it because I'd like to experiment in that direction myself. Well, one of the things I want to do uh, when I go to jiu-jitsu competition, of course, is make weight, and a lot of guys will drop weight for competition. So many of these guys are starving themselves before. What I like to do is kind of remain where I'm at. I weigh about 174, 175. Uh, with my gi on, that's about 179, 180. And my weight uh, maximum is at 81.5. So I have to maintain that, and I want to have enough energy to do what I need to do when I do fight. So That's what uh, I'm what, concerned about it. Yeah, so what I, what I need to do is have fuel, and fuel to me is not protein. Protein are the building blocks of building my muscles and making me strong, but fuel is always either fat or sugar. And I know I don't want sugar because that that's, that's stored. That's the kindling. Well, it's kind it's of not stored. The log. Yeah, it's it's definitely kindling when you talk about a big roaring fire, and that means you have to constantly feed it. Mm -hmm. So what the log is on the fire is really the good fats. The healthy fats. Yeah, and uh, Nora, you, said, you said you ate four ounces of fish, though, and that's no, no. I protein. ate about four ounces of fish to establish that I'm having some protein in the morning, but I'm not going to have it further on in the day because I want it all digested before I even go there. Mm -hmm. So the fat is the fuel. The protein is just barely to set me up and to maintain. Um, well, you had salmon, which salmon yeah. is a very high fat fish. Yeah, that's yeah. that's so true it's too. A so fatty fish or protein fish. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I, ate, I keep the fat. Of, Pardon me? You so say you ate four ounces of good quality salmon. Yeah, I ate uh, uh, wild sockeye salmon from the deli. And then what? Uh, how much butter? Uh, did well, you one of those Kerrygold ones blocks is eight ounces, so I ate half of that. Well, uh, so, I mean, so how much is that in terms of normal standard butter sticks? Uh, probably two. No, two you didn't eat two whole. Butter. Yeah, you two. didn't eat two whole sticks of butter, did you? Maybe one. No, carry gold has the equivalent of two sticks of butter. Okay, so, so I you, half ate, of that. you ate maybe the equivalent of one. Yeah, so okay. equivalent of one. Okay. okay, okay. Over about an hour. Well, I have several short questions to try to ask yeah. you quickly. I'd like to ask them all at once, but I can't, obviously. <laughs> sure. Um, uh, um, one question is 
uh, how do you me- how do you mechanically eat that? Do you like to just chop it up and eat it with a spoon, or yeah, I know, basically uh, just took a knife. I uh, I didn't have much in the. Uh, I have this little tool that has a knife on it, so I just uh, chopped off pieces of that, put it in my mouth, and had a little water with it, kind of just and melted it. Tastes, and, and it tastes good, huh? Oh yeah. Well, butter. Well, well of you course. Guys, you guys. Well, you guys have said uh, before, I think. That, that this is something that people have to transition to. So, well, I mean, certainly, can I start out doing this right before a sporting event, or do I need to transition into eating this before a sporting event? Well, do you, do you would... eat grass-fed butter now, Tom? Well, that, that's a separate question. The, separate, the, other, the other question was going to be, if, if I'm going to go this direction, can I temporarily get by with the toxic supermarket butter and fish? Well, or do that, I have to wait till I can go with the, the clean stuff? Well, Kerrygold is like at Publix, and it is uh, reasonably priced. I mean, you know, like yeah. three sixty nine, dollars I think, right? Or maybe 4 But it's pasteurized, isn't it? Uh, it's a lightly pasteurized, but it's from butter grass-fed. Butter and heavy cream is a low pasteurization, mm-hmm. so it gets up to about 130 degrees, not 180 degrees. So mm-hmm. it's a low pasteurization that doesn't destroy the enzymes in it. So it's a lot different than pasteurizing milk. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, what about the transition? Do I need to transition, or can I suddenly... Well, that really, Tom, would depend on how good you've set up your body to process the fat. It depends on your uh, gallbladder. Uh, oh, okay. And producing HLC, you know, hydrochloric HCL. or HCL. Well, bile, and and you know how to do that. Little limonene, little <laughs> okay, liver, gallbladder. Yeah. What I would start with. You ever uh, tried the uh, the Tiger Brew or Bulletproof Coffee? Uh, I'm not a coffee drinker. I don't oh. like it. But, but okay. Uh, but, well, that's say the one what, thing you know, we do is we have coffee and we put the butter in it and then we put some uh, bone uh, uh, collagen in it and uh, mm-hmm. stir it up in a mixer for 30 seconds and you've got a nice broth of some really good fat and and a some good protein, protein you know, some amino acids that are yeah. from the, the the amino acids that yeah. we don't often get from the animal food that we get from bone well, broth. Okay. And I'm hoping that we get lucky. Double check too that we have uh, one of our listeners, Alona, call in who's having great success with bone broth. Yeah. Uh, so oh, really oh, to answer what? your question, uh, uh, I'm trying to set up my body to burn fat on a continuous basis. So when uh, I do get on the mat or do some strenuous exercise, I've got my carbohydrates already stored in my muscle as kind of an afterburner. So I'm using fat as a fuel, and when I need a little bit extra, I've got the carbohydrate and stored already in my muscle to activate it immediately. If you're doing the opposite way, you're burning sugar, and while you're burning sugar, you really have to do a lot of strenuous exercise to tap back into the fat. It really doesn't work the reverse way as a smooth transition. And Tom is a uh, volleyball player. Very, real yeah, and, and that's, that's what I, want. I wanted to say, that I, I typically play volleyball one night, one, uh, well, three nights, but one night a week in particular. And what I've done for years is eat a high carb uh, meal an hour or two before. Right. Kind of like what and marathon runners do. They do the like, same like, thing. Like, they have the pasta meal uh, or the cereal meal the night before, so they, that they have a lot of fuel stored in their muscles. But remember, carbohydrates are stored only in the muscle. Otherwise, they're uh, changed to fat and then stored in your fat cells. And while I, thought I, bur- I burned them up. Pardon me. I thought I burned up all carbohydrates. That's why I never. Yeah, but if, you, if there's anything left over, and there, you know, remember, carbohydrates are a high octane fuel. It's kind of like pure sugar, and your body right. wants to get rid of it if you're not burning it. So if it senses that you're going to have too much, it's going to store it as fat. Okay, so so uh, what I'm what I'm wondering is if uh, uh, early late afternoon I could eat that four ounces of fish and a uh, stick of butter, uh, and will that charge me up for the whole evening? What I would do is start in the morning. In other words, eat bacon and eggs or something in the morning with some right. high fat to it, add more butter to it, and you won't well, care because you won't even care about eating later on if your body's burning the fat. You won't need that. Well, You're not hungry. Okay. Maybe I could eat the brown rice at lunch and then eat the butter right before the games? Yeah, well, I eat brown rice. Uh, well, I've, eggs, four eggs in the morning won't carry me all day. Uh, I, need a, I feel a need for a lot of good healthy carbs sometime during the day if it's not lunch then it needs to be before, you know dinner yeah well that's uh, a different philosophy you, you'll be you know. surprised well, tom i think that when we, we I'm willing we, to change well that's what i'm saying and we can definitely you know and i'll be glad to work with you on that and by the way 
Tom is uh, a regular listener, mm -hmm. and he uh, has a wonderful website uh, called Tom's Good Files that really explains a lot of what I do. Yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, and it's a great website. It has great recordings um, that explain more of a uh, biofield perspective of and cell resonant technology, which is what I do when I meet with people in my office. And Tom, you don't mind if I give that out, do you? No, of course not. Thank Tom, you so much. Tom'sGoodFiles.com. Uh, just, you know, you can just start listening to the Best of Health line, and uh, you will just uh, really start to realize that we can use the information that's in healthy foods and nutrition to help our bodies fix themselves. Yeah. So I'm really of the mind that uh, I want to eat a lot of healthy fat, so I have that fuel ready, and then the carbohydrates are kind of the booster that I need mm -hmm. uh, if I need some rocket fuel to throw somebody on the mat or make that basket uh, when you're playing basketball or whatever. And that's kind so of you the, do the carbs a lot sooner, though. Is that right? No, you, you're actually burning fat until you need the carbs. They're kind of like, oh. if, if you uh, had that supercharger in your car, you're not going to use that to go from here to Naples. But if now, all of a sudden, somebody's chasing you, now you need it for a few minutes, you're going to kick that supercharger on. And that's kind of yeah, what the I carbohydrates thought, I thought you are. Ate, I thought you ate all that butter right before your competition. No, I ate it uh, the morning of the competition. My, I wasn't going to fight until 3 o'clock. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that sheds a whole different light on the picture. Thanks yeah, so much, guys. Yeah. Well, it thanks, makes... for, hey, thanks for calling, Tom. And, you know, um, you know, making that transition to utilizing fat can sometimes be a little challenge for people that are used to eating carbs. Yes. But it can be done because, as you probably have learned, carbohydrates are not an essential nutrient. The fats and the proteins are. Yeah, no doubt and the, and the, the raw materials are those. But you know what? We've got, we've got Alona on the line. Tom, or, thanks, thanks for calling, lot, Tom. Tom. All right, all right. Bye-bye. Okay. okay. Uh, we've got Alona from Boston, and uh, you know you heard us mention, and we're and we're going to get to her right after the break. Can you hear us, Alona? Yes, I can, Paige. Hi, how are you guys? How are we'll you? We've we got we a couple only, of minutes. Here, yeah, we so. got a couple of minutes. I want to start talking, but I'm hoping you can hang with us for the next break. Oh because... yes, no, no, no. I'm I'm here. I'm here for you. Okay. Now, Alona is also a listener, and she has been extremely successful in creating healing bone broths. And for those of you that were listening, you heard Nico and I mention that. When we have our uh, Tiger Brew, which is a very high-quality coffee, we know that that's a great source of antioxidants. Uh, we put medium-chain triglycerides, coconut oil. We put uh, grass-fed butter in there. I put a little stevia. <laughs> um, but we also put, you know, we can put raw cream. But we also add collagen uh, that we get. And beef and gelatin. Beef gelatin. Gelatin. It's a gelatin. We get it from Great Lakes gelatin. But the best gelatin that you can ever get is from making your own bone broth. No doubt about and it. And one of the most superfoods on the planet are bone broths, and it's an art to preparing it. And we have a listener who has been very successful in creating a healing bone broth, does it on a regular basis, and she's on the line with us. And, uh, it, Alona, it's, we are going to publish your recipe and your success tips, if that's all right, in our next newsletter. We have your permission to do that? Definitely, yes, yes. So um, those are the people that have the newsletter will get the recipe, but tell us, what do you think are the real secret ingredients that create that wonderful gel? And we only got 36 seconds, so we'll start on that's it and then we'll fine, come back. That's fine. Well, the gel, I actually... Because before I make the gel, I actually make the bro chicken broth. Right. Uh, because the... To me, the most important thing is the length of cooking. The length. The length. And okay, of course, that makes the a lot product, of sense. The, the, that organic beef, that you know, bones that we, we use. Okay, yes. uh, Alona, hang on for a couple seconds. We're on the break right now, so we'll be right back, and we'll uh, get all your insights on this wonderful recipe that you have. Thanks a lot for sticking around. We'll be right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely 
completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin here on TFNN. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle, and we've got Alona from Boston on the line, and she is sharing with us her very special recipe for making a successful bone broth. Are you still with us, Alona? I am. I am. So give us an outline. Now, we're going to put the recipe in the newsletter for subscribers, but ch just tell us, uh, kind of overview, what your process is. Very good. Uh, so basically, well, most important things, all um, organic meats and bones should be used to yes. the best availability. Sometimes I cannot get um, some of the bones, or because I, for the gelatin purposes, it's hard for me to um, get them from places uh, like organic places where I get my meat. Sure. Um, so it's important to me that I cook when I place, you know, and the meats and the bones, I gave you that in the recipe because the more, uh, more bones. More diverse put, bones. Exactly. Yes. Then the, the better the, the chicken broth will be as well. From pig's feet to chicken's feet to yeah. knuckles oh, to bones, the I like it. feet are very important. I just recently started adding them for the cartilage, and I saw that on Dr. Mercola's, which... This is what my grandmother used to make. So yeah, like, and my oh, mother used to do this she too. Used to make those, yes, right. exactly. And it's the the other most important thing is to add a little bit of cider, apple cider vinegar. That helps because, pull from the exactly mm -hmm. 
Exactly. And that is another thing I learned uh, just recently. I did not remember my grandmother doing that, so um, that's what I'm doing. And that actually, so I cook my chicken broth for about eight hours. Uh, slow simmering. I do not add vegetables at this point. Right. I, it's mostly just the bones. Um, I do add uh, maybe after two hours when I take out the chicken because chicken the full the whole chicken I take out a little bit earlier, right. and then I allow I leave the feet there actually um, the legs, but I take out the chicken breast which is at that point useless to overcook it. Yeah, uh, it's not doing any good for uh, my. Broth. Yeah, it just dries out. It's exactly. Yeah. It dries out, so I can't even use it in a chicken salad. But it's interesting because I just this weekend I had um, friends over, and I made two soups. I made, um, out of my broth, I made uh, gar- uh, the carrot, I'm trying to think, carrot, ginger, turmeric, but root, turmeric root mm-hmm. I used. And also I made wild mushrooms. So oh, everybody nice. loved the soups, and they were just, oh, this is so delicious. But... I had two doctors in my in the place, and when I started saying yes, because it's a lot of gelatin, and at that point they said, oh, I don't want to know what's in it, because there is probably a lot of fat. And I said, it's interesting how people are scared. They want to hear 0% fat-free everything. But in, I said, my soups, if I put my chicken broth even to the fridge, I will, it will come up as gelatin. It, there is no fat. It's really all gelatin. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so I, I, it really worked. My mother had fibromyalgia. My husband had some arthritis problems. And I'll tell you, since I've added this, uh, it's been very helpful. Oh, yeah. It, it really, really takes the inflammation down. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's unbelievable, Nicole. So with that, after I cook my broth, I take out all the bones, and then I leave this. Bo- I put the broth into the uh, fridge, and then I can make soups out of it. I it's, I make big amounts because I uh, freeze soups. I make a lot of. We eat a lot of soups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I take all the bones and I put it to slow cooker, and I add just a tiny bit of the fluid in there, um, just enough so the gel. Because I want a lot of gelatin now, and I now cook it, slow cook it for 24 hours. Okay. And that really breaks down a lot of the bone, doesn't it? The bone, it's unbelievable. I can almost all the bones, except for the big marrow bones, I will then blend. And all of them are, you can even break it. When you touch it to your finger, right. you'll know which bone you can throw into the mixer. Because right, exactly. I don't want people to breaking them, you know, I don't want them to be breaking their mixers when right, they do Right, right. <laughs> but you will be able to tell because the bone will really uh, start breaking in your hand. Wow. Uh, and with that, I just make the, um, you know, I blend it and I make that bone broth. And I actually use my bone breath for my coffee. Wow. And see, that's even better than buying it. If you can make it. Alona, thank you so much. Yeah, we're out of time. Thank you so much. And please call in again. And uh, that was Thanks for sharing your recipe and your success. Okay, take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks, sweetie. All right. That's it, folks. See you next week. Thanks a lot. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.